The numbers are out. Our March release of consumer price index expected up two tenths of one percent is up one tenth of one percent. High watermark was 1.3. That was in June of 22, the highest since 05. And since then, the lowest has been zero. That was July of last year. If you look at X Food and Energy, expected up four tenths, exactly up four tenths. High water mark, April of 21, up eight tenths, highest since 81. Since then, the high, or excuse me, the low has been up two tenths in August of 21. The biggies now, 5% year over year, that was expected to be 5.1, and the rear view mirror still is 6%, and every single month, as I said, uh, since June, when it peaked at 9.1, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, now March, have been lower, and if we look at 56 to year over year core, maybe the most important number here, here's where it gets interesting, Joe. 5.6 expected, 5.5 in the rear view mirror, gone down every month since September when it peaked at 6.6. This is the one month where it popped one tenth higher and it breaks that streak. Now, many have said it doesn't need to be linear. I totally understand that. We could look at one tenth, but if you take a bigger picture, we have made progress. But it really does become, and I'm so interested in how the Oracle of Omaha looks at this, it really does now become an issue of spend, spend, spend versus does the Fed tighten? How do they view the banking issues? And what right. rate is right. going to be <laughs> high enough until we know what's going on with the budgets? Uh, yes, go on. Uh, incredible moves in gold, uh, in the dollar. Uh, it, it all sort of looks like it, it, it might give the Fed some... Uh, some breathing room that oh, the, the 10 years down, like a rock. 10 years yeah. that yeah. futures went, the stock futures went up immediately, gold went up immediately, it all sort of, there's a two the year note. A two year note is at 392. It's down what, 14 basis points? Yes, and we've gone from uh, what, we're at 337 now in a 10, that was well over 344. So, Joe, yeah, the markets are, are speaking loudly. I think we need to go back to Becky. At least I'm going to toss it back to Becky. We're all anxious to hear how Warren Buffett's going to respond to the big pop in the futures for equities and the big drop for interest rates.